Porn is a PSYOP, and there's no other way I can sugarcoat it. And this is not a conspiracy theorist. I know many people think, oh, this is a conspiracy theory. Just open your eyes and take a look at the hard facts. And the hard facts is that men are becoming more addicted than ever to this type of content, explicit content. I was addicted at once, so I know what it feels like. I know what it's like to struggle. And so by PSYOP, PSYOP stands for a psychological operation, which hints that this is almost purposeful. Now, again, this is a theory and you just have to kind of think about it with me because again, it's a theory. It's not a fact, but it's very interesting to think about. And when we think about porn, what is porn doing to men? What are the impacts of porn? Porn is making men more weaker more addicted, more distracted. And what is that doing to men? Men, therefore, can't actually focus on the needle movers in their life. They can't actually focus on their purpose. They're so distracted. They're so unproductive. They're so addicted to their desires and lust and sexual pleasure that they're literally slaves, literally modern day slaves. And this is why I called it an invisible kind of war. This is an invisible war that more people need to think about and actually talk about because it's seen as so taboo and so weird and so odd. But here's the reality. The people who don't watch porn, who don't engage in this weird behavior and don't fuck every single woman that they see, those people are actually not weird. Those people, although they seem like outliers, those people will succeed. Because as a man, you have to understand that your power is in your sexual energy. You have a lot of power. And so, again, this maybe can seem like a conspiracy theory. But I really think that porn is a tool used to control you. And I don't know if this was intentional. I don't know if there was, you know, a person behind this saying, oh, let's control them, etc. Who knows? I, I generally don't know. I'm just an average human being, right? But what I can see is the influence this has on modern men and modern society, and it's scary. So the biggest thing, and I talked about this earlier, the biggest thing it's doing to men is they're becoming more addicted. And specifically, they're becoming more addicted to their pleasures and desires and becoming modern day slaves. Now, let's not think about control or anything else. Let's think about consumerism, right? You all know that everyone wants to make money. The world wouldn't run if people didn't make money. And so the thing I could think about right off the bat is porn causes men to be more in the consumerism state, right? They want to consume more, not only just this explicit content, but in general, because if I'm addicted, if I'm so brainwashed, then I'm more susceptible to other outside influences, like an ad telling me, oh, buy this, or, you know, this guy telling me to do this, to consume, to buy this new thing, to buy that new thing. I'm more susceptible to this outside influence because I'm not in control over the most important thing I could have control over, and that is my sexual desires and my lust. When you think of a dog, for example, <laughs> I know this is a weird example, but look at a dog. You know how like, even if they get neutered, they hump anything in their vicinity, right? They'll hump, you know, whatever, a fucking pillow, etc. I mean, some dogs, obviously. But when you think about it, a dog doesn't have the ability to have sexual restraint like a human does. Although physically, you're not humping every single thing. Maybe even in your mind, you're just becoming more of a slave like a dog is because a dog is just a slave to its desires and it just acts on its impulses. And so that is what you're doing with porn usage more people who are addicted to porn immediately just act on their impulses whether it's you know let me just watch another video because it's so easy to access or let me just whatever call this woman because i feel horny right now so i need to do something about it so i'm just gonna talk to this tinder date that i don't know and have casual hookup with her and don't even know who she is etc that is more common than you think another way i would say porn impacts society at large is it impacts relationships and it impacts a relationship between a man and a woman because what it does to the man and even a woman right if, if they watch but men at large are more addicted to pornography this is a fact and so also this channel is directed to men, but the way it would impact a man in his kind of in his sexual experience with an intimate partner, like a girlfriend is first of all, it'll make it more harder for him to have sex, no pun intended, but erectile dysfunction is a cause of extreme pornography use and constant use and viewing of this explicit content. And so this affects society and relationships because let's say you're saying, okay, well, why does it matter that a man has erectile dysfunction? Who cares? If a man can't get his dick hard, then it makes it harder for him to 
reproduce, to have more offspring? And what if this was purposeful? And I know that this goes to the conspiracy theory realm, but what if this was purposeful? Just enlighten the thought that this might have been purposeful to make you more weaker, to make you, you know, not even want to crave sexual intimacy with a woman because the pixels that you're watching on your phone is so much better. And that's what it does to your brain and makes what you're watching on the screen so much better than real life girlfriend, like real life, you know, fucking woman in front of you. So this is psychological manipulation at its finest. And you can say there is a hidden agenda here to make women and men not want to procreate. It literally could be like that. And I don't know. I don't want to say things which may not be true, but I do want to say that's a theory. And it's very interesting to think about what if this was all kind of a plot to make us not want to be together, right? You see this in today's world. Men and women are more separated than ever. Divorce rates are through the roof. Breakups are through the roof. Relationships are just not working. And so porn, let's put it here. Porn is not making it any better. It's just adding more salt to the situation. It's not making it any better. It's making men more lonely, more depressed, more of a modern day slave to their desires. Another impact I want to talk about is we said relationships, we said addiction, we said, you know, becoming a modern day slave. But let's also talk about porn swaying you from your real purpose as a man. Now, I know this sounds weird, but you have a purpose. You have a God given purpose that I truly believe. Maybe you haven't figured that out yet, but each and every one of you has one. And it's very hard to conceptualize this when you've been addicted to porn, when you're just a slave to your desires. And so what I urge you to do is take matters into your own hands. There are many tools to help you crush your desires and many tools to help you crush your porn usage. For example, the easy peasy method is a great method, but I genuinely urge you to take matters into your own hands because if you don't, the years will pass by. The time passes by anyway, and you're just left with this addiction and your purpose is kind of running away from you because every time that you procrastinate on figuring out your purpose or just being in the pursuit of your purpose of a higher mission, a higher calling, then all it's doing to you is making you more depressed, more mad at yourself, more pissed, and it's not contributing to anything. And I really believe, and I, I'm going to repeat this, you have a hidden purpose. Maybe you're not going to find it tomorrow. Maybe it's going to take you a year or two, but you have some purpose. And I could tell you that your purpose is not to watch porn. Your purpose is not to waste time on these weird pleasures. You have a higher purpose and all it's doing is it's distracting you from the real path that you need to take as a man, a path of delayed gratification, a path of contributing to society, helping the people around you, your friends, your family members providing. I genuinely just want you to open your eyes because this is only going to get worse. You look at the rise of AI. And what is very disturbing to me to think about is AI being used in this kind of sector in pornography in sexual explicit material, because at the end of the day, AI makes it look real. AI makes it look like it's so good. It could be used as another tool to make you more distracted more controllable, just more of a sheep You're stuck, addicted to your phone, addicted to the pixels, not following any purpose, any mission. Yeah. Being a modern day slave. And I genuinely, genuinely urge you to to take matters in your own hands right now because AI is only going to make it worse. You see the rise of AI girlfriends or I'm, I'm telling you AI porn will come in the future and what it'll be is it'll be very customized to you. So it'll know exactly your desires and what you want and your preferences, your sexual preferences. And who knows, there could be a deep fake video of AI porn happening right in front of you. Or an AI girlfriend is already a thing, which is kind of fucked. A girlfriend that you can flirt with and have sexual talk with, yeah, just weird shit. You might argue, okay, what is the bigger picture here? The bigger picture is that it's not only swaying you from your purpose and making you more distracted and a slave, but it's also swaying you from real relationships like with a woman. And we said before that porn makes you have unrealistic standards, unrealistic expectations in a relationship and cause you to have erectile dysfunction and all these problems. And in the future, just men wouldn't even want to procreate. Men wouldn't even want to have sex anymore because not only is porn so good, but AI porn made it everything so much better. This AI girlfriend is so much nicer than a real person who I have to deal with, who I have to deal with her problem, etc. It's very disturbing. And I'm just, this is only the start of technology advancing. And it's scary to see how this can only get worse with VR porn, with AI girlfriend, all these things which are just coming for you. And if you don't take matters into your own hands and you don't defeat the porn 
PsyOp, which is trying to control you as a man, which is trying to weaken you. Because I'm going to repeat saying this, your sexual energy is such a big power that you have. And when you constantly release it, when you constantly waste this energy, you're becoming less creative. You're becoming less able to give your masculine gifts to the world. You're becoming more directionless and just a slave. And I hope, I really hope if you're watching this, you take matters into your own hands and you defeat the porn psyop. More videos will come in the future on how we can defeat this psyop together. I hope this video helped you. I hope it kind of opened your eyes. This is scarier than we think. Brother, if you're struggling with porn, I have a NoFap Urges free ebook down below. Check it out if you want. Otherwise, don't check it out. But either way, I'll see you next time. Peace.